The funniest thing is a lot of them will ask for their pathology specimens to take to school. Believe it or not, even things simple like an appendix or a gallbladder, they're like, can I have that? And I'll be, no, we really actually need that. We're not done studying it even when it's outside of you, so it has to go to our pathologists. They'll ask for photos, they'll ask for surgical instruments, they'll ask for parts of their anatomy. They just want to take it to school and show it off. I'm Ken Azarow, the chair of the Department of Surgery at OHSU and the surgeon in chief at Dornbecker Children's Hospital. Pediatric surgery is really a combination of all of the intense skills involved in general surgery. The technical aspects are very challenging, it's on a much smaller level, yet we still are involved in the critical care of the children, we take care of our children, so it's a unique combination. There are several patients that I can vividly remember. A recent memory was triggered this past Christmas. I got a Christmas card from a family. They tracked me down somehow. I operated on their daughter 19 years ago. She had a tracheoesophageal fistula that I repaired on day one of life. And uh, she got married this past Christmas and they, they sent me a card. It was um, little moments like that you never forget. When children come to see a pediatric surgeon, they're essentially broken, either by disease or illness or trauma, and we get to give them back a whole life the vast majority of the time. I can't imagine anything more satisfying.